Hey guys, welcome to part 5 of the dollhouse build. I've been documenting my assembly of the Sugar Plum Cottage by Greenleaf, and here's where I am so far. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the windows that came with the kit with something that looks more like leaded glass. Now if you look here, you can see where I've done this one. I'll show you how I did that. So let's get started. Things you'll need are art tape, and this is the 1 16th inch, and I got it at Hobby Lobby. You'll need wood stain, tacky glue, metallic craft paint, and I'm using the color galvanized tin, triple thick glaze, also from Hobby Lobby, and you'll need a sheet of clear plastic, either transparency film or a clear binder protector or anything like that. And you'll need some craft wood from Hobby Lobby. It's sold in packages of five pieces that are each 24 inches long. You'll need one package of the 1 8 inch and one of the 1 4 inch. I've already started staining the wood because it's easier to stain it before cutting it. Other things you'll need are two paint brushes, a fine one and a broad one. And you'll need to print out an image of a diamond paned window. To find this one, I just searched online for images of leaded glass windows and then resized it to fit. Finally, you'll need masking tape and a baggie. So the first thing I do is prepare the art tape by laying strips of it on the open baggie. As you can see, it tears easily and it's self-adhesive. So once they're all laid out, I can start painting them. I'm going for a more weathered look, so I'm dry brushing the paint on. This way, a lot of the black shows through the silver. I'm just lightly skimming over each one so that hints of silver can accentuate the texture. Art tape is made of crepe, so it has this nice crinkled texture that really looks like old metal. The next step is to cut a piece of the clear plastic to size. I use the original window as a guide. I place the plastic on top of the pattern and tape the corners as close to the edge as possible. Then I begin to lay strips of art tape over the lines. I tear the extra pieces off. When I finish the first side, I carefully remove the tape and trim away any extra art tape. Next, I flip the window over and follow the lines on the other side. When both sides are finished, I apply the glaze. I brush on one thick layer and leave it to dry. Now it's time to make the trim for the window. I start by applying wood stain all around the opening. Then I measure the top and bottom and cut two pieces of the 1 4 inch wood to fit. Then I glue the pieces in. And secure them with the tape. Next I measure and cut the two side pieces and glue and tape them in. I make the window frame by measuring and cutting the 1 8 inch wood, once again starting with the horizontal pieces. Once the wood is cut, I put tape on the ends of the horizontal pieces. And then I put glue on the ends of the short pieces. I put the pieces together, make sure that it's square, and then set it aside to dry. I repeat these steps to make a second window frame. When they're completely dry, I sandwich the plastic in between the two frames. I did need to trim the plastic before gluing. Once 
When the window assembly is completely dry, I test the fit and the opening. Once I see that it fits, I glue it in. I used the same process for the double windows. I just made two sets of frames with a piece of 1 4 inch wood in between. I used the 1 8 inch wood to make trim for the interior. And I added these handles. And that's how I make authentic looking leaded glass windows. Oh look, someone's here to inspect my work. This is Mary Dibbs, and I think she approves.